Hello Liz, in this video we're going to be looking at our predictions for WJC Level 3 Criminology Unit 2 on Criminal Theory. So this is in addition to our super popular science, maths, uh, psychology, sociology papers. This year Laura, our Head of Criminology, has carefully analysed all of the past exam papers looking for trends and patterns and then she has developed this fantastic way of thinking about questions and you can access all of her predictive papers and the walkthroughs in the link in the description down below. Now, in our video walkthroughs of these, Laura has shown you what an examiner will be looking for. So you can have a look at the, the how to interpret the questions, the skills, and how to structure your answers effectively. The questions in our predictive paper are gonna mimic the style of those in the actual exam, helping you to understand what they are really asking, what to include in your answers, and then how to structure your answers effectively. So this will allow you to really show up in the real exam. Both of the predictive papers for this unit and unit four, and the video walkthroughs are available on Bootcamp, so you can use them as a foundation for your revision. But please remember to revise everything thoroughly, as these materials are just predictions. We do not have access to the actual exam papers or any inside information about the exam. So, what we would like you to look for are definitions of crime and deviance. Make sure you're able to be clear and concise definition of both crime and deviance. Really focus on the technical language that you use here. Have examples of both crime and deviance, and even some examples of behaviour that would be considered both criminal and deviant. You could be answered to pull examples from a scenario, so make sure you can practice so there's nothing that catches you out. Sociological theories include Marx, sociological theories such as Marxism, interactionism, labelism, and realism. Often the question won't specify which theory you need to talk about, and you can select one of the best that applies to the scenario that is presented. But always be prepared for a specific question. And there are many things that you can do to be able to show off your knowledge, to describe theory, to make it apply to situation, and to evaluate. Make sure you're prepared to do all of these things, and it's always best through to read all of the parts of the question, A, B, C, etc. And this is especially important if you're asked to apply theory, as there may be a theory that is clearly easier to apply or make it more relevant to the scenario. Don't start describing theory and then later find on which you selected different questions. So read all of the parts of the question before you start. Our logical theories, and these include both physiological theories and genetic theories. Again, make sure you read the question carefully. If it's asking for logical theories, then you can select information from both sociology and genetic to include in your answer, but it may be specifically asking about a certain theory. So make sure you're taking to talking about the right one. Pay close attention to genetic theories in your vision. This includes Jacob's XYY study and the twin and adoption studies. And just like we said for sociological theories, make sure you read all the parts of the question and select the most appropriate theory that will allow you to gain as many marks as possible. The applied questions really do have a theory that is easiest to use. Thinking about newspaper campaigns informing policy. A number of newspaper campaigns have been seen to be effective about bringing policy change, so make sure you have some examples of these ready to use. One of the main examples is News of the World and Sarah's Law, so they launched a campaign urging the government to introduce measures to disclose information about convicted sex offenders to the public. And News of the World collected a petition of over 300,000 signatures intends to find the call for action. You should have very detailed knowledge about what the newspaper did and how it brought about change. And make sure you are sure about campaigns where they're run by newspapers and don't get this campaign confused with individual campaigns or campaigns run by pressure groups. They can all sound pretty similar at the time. Read the question carefully and make sure you're answering the question actually asked. Explain how laws have changed over time. Again, this will be an area where we need to have a really specific example and detailed information about how laws have changed over time. Have two or three examples so that you can prevent an extended nine mark answer. This should include laws around homosexuality, guns and vagrancy. If you want help with any of this, it is all waiting for you in the boot camp. Good luck. I'm really, really proud of all of your hard work. Ouch! This is why in some videos I write explain scratches.